every black man know a convicted felon, he can't even get a job. You understand? He can't see his kids. He's on time. When they get out, guess what? He owes child support. He can't vote. He can't do nothing. McDonald's don't want him. Burger King don't want him. Wendy's don't want him. His woman don't want him. His family don't want him. The government don't want him. Nobody want him. Meanwhile, Donald Trump is married, about to be the president, and he's sitting back having a good old time and just laughing in your goddamn face, threatening the judge, threatening violence if he goes to jail. I mean, God damn! Because I know you mean everything in Christ. And Christ means everything to me. I called on the Lord. I said, the Father, this is real. Will you watch over him? Will you raise him up to be strong? I don't I, I'm just a man with flesh. This is what you call for in your scriptures. You said they wore studs and fringes, they got it on. You said they are following the law, they doing it. You said under your house shine, they ought to love one another. Are they doing it? Let's talk about one specific devil. Let's talk about one. What 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 animal just got convicted of 34 felonies? 34 convicted of them, felt guilty, a goddamn felon, and he still can be the president. He still can run and be the controller and ruler of this land. That's the privilege and strength of a white man in America, black man. Don't you understand that? Donald Trump is already the, he's already the president. He's already a dictator. He's already a ruler. You understand? The man can walk out of court with, after being found guilty of 36 counts and go home, go have a press conference and talk about the, the judge. You understand? Sam? And go home, eat a steak. Meanwhile, you know, after causing a riot, at Capitol Hill, he done caused all them, all them proud boys to go raid, raid the Capitol building, get away with it, and it's okay. He still could be president. Meanwhile, black man, you don't got no convictions. You eat oodles with noodles and you can't get a job. That's America. You understand? That's America. That's how much you gotta fight for who you are, black man. You understand? That's right. You tell Donald Trump that. Don't tell me that. Tell Donald Trump. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Tell Donald Trump. Go downtown and tell him. You understand? Because what I see in front of my face is a bunch of hate. That's what I see. And it ain't coming from us. It ain't coming from us. You understand? A goddamn convicted felon could be a president. Can you believe that? Yeah. Every black man know a convicted felon, he can't even get a job. You understand? He can't see his kids. He's on time. When they get out, guess what? He owes child support. He can't vote. He can't do nothing. McDonald's don't want him. Burger King don't want him. Wendy's don't want him. His woman don't want him. His family don't want him. The government don't want him. Nobody want him. Meanwhile, Donald Trump is married, about to be the president, and he's sitting back having a good old time and just laughing in your goddamn face, threatening the judge, threatening violence if he goes to jail. I mean, God damn. Bro, that's the power of a white man in America. That's the power. Give me Proverbs. Proverbs 6. Let's start with 16. You understand? That's the power of a, of a white man here in America. That's welcome to Babylon, brother. You said he took the words right out of my mouth. You understand what I'm saying? I want you to understand the difference between white privilege and black hurt. You understand? A felon is about to be the president. And all these fellas that's walking around us, and they took they took prison chances just to survive. He took his chances because he's greedy. He only started off with a small loan of a million dollars. That's a small loan. You can't even get a payday loan. You understand what I'm saying? 
That's the power and strength of this white man here in America. You understand? Absolutely. America hates the black man. America didn't hate the black man. He despises the black woman. You understand? When I say black, I mean all the tribes. He hate, You know he hate Hispanics. You know he hate the Latinos. You know he hate them. Donald Trump gonna build a goddamn wall. He preaches hate, commits felonies, and still could be the president. You understand that? Read. Proverbs chapter 6, verse 16. These six things do it the Lord hate. Do I want you to read it nice and loud and strong. Say it again. These six things doth the Lord hate. Let's see what the Lord hate. Keep going. Yea, seven are an abomination unto him. Verse 17. A proud look. Say it again. A proud look. You know that white man's proud? How, how, how can you get convicted of a felony, then hold a press conference, raise $200 million from, from donators, go on TV and criticize the judge that's going to sentence you? That's proud. Meanwhile, you go to court, you got to put on your best bugle boy suit, some penny loafers, and tighten up. And tighten up. Yeah, put on some Malcolm X glasses or something. Act like you read books. That's what you gotta do. He can go to he can go to the press conference and criticize the judge. Damn. Tell a judge what he gonna do. That's the power of a white man. Read. A lying tongue. Say it again. A lying tongue. Don't you understand that? All white people have lying tongues. That's how they make it. You don't believe me? Ask the Indians. Ask the Native Americans. Ask another black man. You understand? All they got is lying tongues. Keep going. And hands that shed innocent blood. Say it again. And hands that shed innocent blood. Talk to the Mexicans. Say it again. And hands that shed innocent blood. Talk to the Puerto Ricans. Say it again. And hands that shed innocent blood. Talk to Dominicans. Say it again. And hands that shed innocent blood. Talk to the Asians. Say it again. And hands that shed innocent blood. That's all a white man does is shed innocent blood. It's in the history books. We're not making this up. You taught this. That's right. You taught it and learned to love it. The white man's history is worse than injected heroin in your blood. You understand? You get used to it. You get used to getting beat up. And then you gotta hear someone say, we love everybody. That's right. Oh yeah, you do? Then take your baby daddy on child support if you love everybody. That's right. Read. And heart that devises wicked imagination. Say it again. And heart that devises wicked imagination. All he thinks of how to be rude and nasty and cruel. Who wants to build the wall to keep people out of poverty? So they can come here and all they want to do is sell oranges and strawberries. They ain't coming to bother nobody. They just trying to make a goddamn living. All they're trying to do is make a living. And he want to keep him out. You know why? Because he's wicked. You understand? Because he's wicked. It ain't got nothing to do with Democrat or Republican. They are wicked. And I say they're naked in this land being wicked. How can you pick cotton for 300 and something years, build the whole country, and still get stomped on? You know why? Because people are wicked. And you know what people I'm talking about. Read. Feet that be swift and running to mischief. Say it again. Feet that be swift and running to mischief. They love to run to mischief. They wake up every day and think, how can I mess something up today? How can I destroy something? How can I destroy something? They look at people as mashed potatoes. How can I just cut you up and mash you up real good and eat you? How can I do that? That's in their imagination. And Donald Trump is the prime representation of a white man's thoughts in America. He's the prime representation. That's why they love him so much. That's it. He is the Dallas Cowboys, the New England Patriots. He's all, he's America. He's apple pie. He's everything. He's everything. They love him. They love him. You understand? They love him. That's why he will be the president. Sleepy Joe's about to go. He's too sleep. He's too sleep. He ain't shooting enough. He ain't killing enough. He need more blood. Read. Verse 19, a false witness that speaketh lies. Say it again. A false witness that speaketh lies. Do the man speak lies or not? Do he speak lies or not? Does yes, America sir. speak lies or not? Yes, sir. They, they said, they said equal rights for everybody, right? What's, what, what's the, what's the, uh, what they say? 
the home of the brave and all of that garbage. That's not for us. That's a lie. You understand that? They treat us like trash because they think we trash. This is the bad part. We think we trash too. That's the bad part. That's the bad part. And we think we trash too. You understand? Because who gives a damn what somebody think? Who cares? Think what you want. But when they, when they, when we prove their actions right, that's when it's wrong. You understand? And it's time for brothers and sisters have to come together in order to rule. It's not bombs. It's not grenades. It's none of that. Give me First Corinthians one and ten. You understand that? Donald Trump is showing you what it means to stick together. They sticking with him. They sticking with him. Doing felonies. Through his molestation, do yeah, yeah. everything. All them that. white folks is sticking with him. I know that. All that. A nigga owe you a dollar, you don't want to talk to him no more. Right, right, right. right. He owe you three dollars. <laughs> you ready to break his jaw? You understand? And you know why? Because that's what they injected inside of us. That's what they put inside of us. The bad thing about it is we accepted it. You understand? Well, now it's detox time. Read what you got. Yeah, Babylon is falling. in the book.